What's going on everybody? Team G Sale back with another pickup video. Thanks for tuning in everyone. It is a late Sunday evening, about 10.30. Finally got everyone down to sleep and I uh, have a few minutes to do a quick pickup video. I just uh, released one about four days ago. So, I mean, this is... This is about a week's worth of pickups, so uh, not a lot of stuff, uh, quite smaller than some of my other pickups, but I really like to start making videos a little quicker. I don't like doing these really long 20 minute videos. I'd rather just keep them to like 10 minutes if I could. So let's try to do that today. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 400 subscribers. And uh, at that point, I'm gonna do a, a 400 subscriber giveaway. So please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Smash the like button to show some support. Comment below with any questions and finally please share this video with friends and family and anyone who may also be interested in retro video games and retro items in general so like we always do let's just jump right into uh, non-video game pickups and also by the way guys please check the timestamps below if you're not interested in books for example just skip ahead to whatever interests you so that way you can get to the content you want to see quicker but here we go with non-video game pickups uh, we will start with books but there is very few this week compared to weeks past i got one peanuts book uh these faucet readers this is watch out charlie brown i got this at the flea market for two dollars a guy had it in his booth and uh surprisingly i didn't have it i got uh, both of these at value village at unicity they were kids books one dollar and 29 cents each here is where's waldo the ultimate travel collection i have another one like a yellow one of these so i just grabbed this one i like waldo books they're always kind of fun my kids enjoy them too and lastly, a Valentine for Linus. This is a newer Peanuts book. Um, but yeah, either way, add it to the collection. Um, these were all at Value Village. They were $1.29 each, and then you get your fifth one free. So I just round them all to a dollar. So these are, four of these are Calvin and Hobbes books. I don't actually own a few of these, so I'm going to keep a few of them in my collection. So Scientific Progress Goes Boink. I've actually never seen this one before. One dollar, and I will add it to my collection. I do enjoy Calvin and Hobbes. Not as much as I enjoy Peanuts or Garfield, but good books nonetheless. The Revenge of the Baby Sap. I have seen this one before, but I actually don't own it. So we'll add that one to the collection. Uh, this one I have seen before, and I'm going to try to resell this for about five or six dollars. Attack of the Deranged Mutant Killer Monsters Snow Goons. That's quite a title for you, but yes, this one I see quite frequently but it's usually not too hard to resell. And uh, lastly, this one I don't own, the Calvin and Hobbes Lazy Sunday book. So I'll be adding this one to my collection. And the fifth book to make it free, I got an Adventure Time comic volume four. So there it is. I have literally no problem selling Adventure Time stuff. It's very popular and collectible, so I'll probably resell that. I'm not a huge fan of the franchise. Um, that's it. Oh, no, one more book. This guy I got at Goodwill for 25 cents. This book has recently been pulled. It um, contained material that the uh, publisher said had um, hinted racism. Um, kind of like the Dr. Seuss stuff, but slightly different. Uh, this uh, was from the creators of Dav Pilkey, who made Captain Underpants. He also did The Adventures of Ugin Gluck. This one's called Kung Fu Caveman from the Future. I don't exactly know what's so controversial about this book, but the value has gone slightly up on this one. So I'm just going to add it to my collection. That's it for books, everybody. So let's jump into VHSs. There are only two this week. One of them, I don't even know what it is, but it's beta and I never see beta. And I actually have a small beta collection. This movie's called The Clown. Um, it looks really weird, but I, it stood out right away from the VHSs because I knew it was a beta tape. So I got this for a dollar because that's what um, Goodwill charges. If you don't know what beta tapes look like, uh, if you're too young to remember Betamax, there you go. They're a little smaller than VHSs. But uh, whenever I see betas, I grab them. You know, just, I can't find any value on it, but. Okay, this is uh, one of my favorite childhood movies. I didn't really like the second one, but I don't own the first one. And this is The Never Ending Story Part Two. So I grabbed this on VHS at Value Village. It was $2. I don't normally like to grab VHSs at Value Village because $2 to me is kind of an overpay, but this is one that I've been looking for for a while. So um, if you've never watched The Never Ending Story, 
I suggest checking it out. Um, I always like that Simpsons Lionel Hutz line where he's like, my lawsuit against the never-ending story. Um, but either way. Then how do we find a human child? With luck. Master <laughs> Falco, Master, we have to hurry. All right, hang on tight. <laughs> Um, board games, three this week. Well, two, maybe two. This one was $1.99 at Value Village. Here's the price tag right there. This is a game called Catch-21. Uh, it's a high Q game. They made these little small puzzle games. So, yeah, two bucks I added to my collection. Uh, this guy was a really good find. Uh, it was at Goodwill, and it was priced at $4. Let's see if I can get this tag in there. It's kind of small. Goodwill has these small tags. Four bucks. And this is Atmosphere, but the DVD, this is a newer one than the Harbringers one that I also own. It's basically, the game is Nightmare, um, and it's DVD version, and it's very collectible. I've been able to sell these for $40 to $50 on eBay, so I will sell that one, seeing as I already have it in my collection. And lastly, this was also this was a Value Village pickup. Sorry, it's noisy. There's the price there. Oh boy, sorry, lots of pieces. So for $5, I got the Domino Rally Action Set. I'm going to see if I can get this in frame here, guys. So I own this already. So I'm going to just eBay this or resell this. Domino Rally was really, really popular back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Introducing Domino Rally. I did own them as a kid, but I already have this set, so I'll probably resell it. A um, couple of toy items this week. Uh, this was $1.99 at uh, Salvation Army, so you can get that in there. Hard to see their tags. This is a bag of Skylanders. Um, I don't know much about Skylanders, but for $2, I grab them. You know, we'll see. I guess maybe I'll try to resell them at a convention or something. Um, this was at Super Thrift. It was a dollar, I believe. Yeah, see if you can see it there, 99 cents. And this is a dinosaur toy from the TV show Dinosaurs. This was a McDonald's toy, I believe. Uh, see if I can get any camera there. You press a little button, and this is the brother. I forget his name. He turns back and forth. So that was a dollar. And lastly, at Super Thrift, I believe this was $1.99. See if I can get it in camera there. A little tiny tag. And this is a Build-A-Bear Darth Vader teddy bear. Um, nah, they're not super expensive, but I'm actually going to give it to a Star Wars uh, friend of mine who really enjoys Star Wars. So... Uh, there's that. And otherwise, guys, that is it for non-video game pickups. So let's just jump right into video game pickups. And there's really not a lot this week, so we'll go quickly through them. Um, even though there wasn't a lot, there was still some good stuff in here. We'll start with this guy. This was at Value Village, uh, six ninety nine minus two dollars off. I did have a coupon, so this was actually five dollars. And this is Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation Two. Uh, complete in the case, mint disc. For $5, I think that's a fair price to grab it. So, I'll add that to my collection. My very small PS2 collection. I got these at the uh, flea market. Uh, my buddy Steven's booth. If you happen to be at Mulvey or uh, Thirsty Flea Market, go check him out. Uh, CS Collectibles, I believe, is his business name, uh, but he's a great guy to work with. He had these games at $10 each. Um, I said, they're sports styles, would you do five? He said, sure. So, for $5 each, I got Mia Ham Soccer 64. Five dollars. So, just some sports shovelware to add to the collection. And lastly, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. I was shocked they didn't have this one. I thought I did. But, uh, yeah, five dollars a game. Um, okay, so, still at the flea market, I go to John's booth, and John and I were trying to work out a deal last week for these games, and I went and got them this week. So, these are some Game Gear games. Uh, first one is a game called Clutch Hitter. And he gave me this for $3, just a sports shovelware title. I checked price charting, actually this game's only worth like a buck, so I actually overpaid for it, but whatever. And lastly, this game, he charged me $12 for. Price charting had it at 15 but this is um, Donald Duck in Deep Duck Trouble. So one of the Disney games for the uh, Game Gear. So again, if you ever see John over at, uh, John the Bookman over at Thirsty, he always gives me good deals too, good guy to work with. 
Um, okay, this one was weird. It was at Value Village with no price. So I went up to pay and I said, yeah, I didn't have a price. What do you guys want on it? So he charged me a dollar for it. And this is uh, Tommy LaRosa's baseball for the Genesis. It was just like randomly sitting with her cassette tapes. I'm like someone there obviously thought it was a cassette tape. But whatever, I added that to the collection. It's a sports title, whatever. Um, okay, uh, the... Yeah, the remaining games were all from the same place. Okay, so I went to Pond Traders on Main Street, one of my favorite ones. And uh, one of the employees there, I won't say his name to incriminate him, but he always gives me really, really good deals. So I go in there one day and he's got a whole bunch of N64 games. Uh, someone had brought in a collection. And um, the sports titles, you know, so there was a whole section that was priced and a section that wasn't priced. And I said, like, what are you asking on the stuff that's not priced? He goes, probably five bucks a game. And then I saw this other game that I really, really liked that was priced. And he goes, just give me 20 for all of them. So these worked out to $5 a game. So we got uh, NFL Blitz 2001 for five bucks. It's actually got some value. I was quite surprised. Did not think that this one had gone up that much. Um, I got a game called Knife's Edge Nose Gunner. Looks like a chopper fighter game, $5. This is the week of N64 for me. And I got Power Rangers uh, something rescue, Lightspeed Rescue. The label's a little faded, but $5. And someone carved their name in the side. And here's the one that he had priced higher, but ended up just giving it to me for 5 And this is Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. Um, I've heard of this because it's one of the rare RPGs, I believe, on the system. But for $5, it was definitely a steal. So thanks for that. I go back there. He, did, he told me that somebody had brought in a Game Boy and PS1 collections and he was going to have them out in the next couple days. So I go two days later and he's got the uh, Game Boy collection out. So there were two games that caught my eye. The rest I didn't care. They were just too expensive. For $5 I got Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3 for the Game Boy Color. Um, I just like watching these from AVGN's videos how terrible they are. So I just grabbed it for 5 bucks. And Bart Simpsons Bart vs. the Juggernauts for $5. Uh, the, again, it's not like a great price or anything, but whatever. It's The Simpsons. So I go to pay, and I see he's got these two games behind the counter. And I said, what do you want for both of them? And he goes, uh, you know what, give me 15 for both. So these worked out to seven fifty a game, so I ended up getting uh, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. I'm glad I waited for this, because I've had a chance to buy it a few times at like 15 or 20 So I'm glad I waited. Seven fifty, And then lastly, seven fifty for Mario Kart 8. Seven fifty. So a good deal in my opinion. And that is it, guys. No really big grail pickup this week, but just some cool stuff. And as usual, I will put the total of what I paid and what the estimated value. I use eBay prices um, for as sold listings for non-video games, and I use video game price charting for video games all in Canadian dollars. Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome week. And uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, share, like, and comment. And otherwise, we'll talk to you guys probably next week. Have an awesome week. Talk to you about. Talk to you later. Bye.